Just because you are an influencer does not give you the right to treat people anyhow. Just because you've been able to make small money does not give you the right to treat a child so poorly without having a conscience. You did so bad and you had the guts to even record it and put it out there because you thought everybody is as sick as you are. Because you are an influencer, you're seeing little change here and there. You think you can treat people anyhow. That is so bad. You were so rude and so Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry guys for the noise. I'm sitting outside and the cars are passing by. So you will be hearing sounds here and there. Okay. So, sorry for the noise. If you're seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like and share if you love content like this. Okay. So we're here to talk about a very rude influencer. I said very rude. Not just rude, she's rude, she's wicked, she's a bad person, she has evil heart. And I can I can just go on and on and on. Okay, so let me tell you the story. An influencer that I will not bother mentioning her name here because it's not worth it. Such evil person does not even need this giant publicity. So I will not say her name. An influencer was driving on the road, probably with her friend or someone in the car because it was obvious she had a drink, a soft drink, on her left hand and she was driving with her right hand, like her right hand was on the steering. And then she got to a spot on the road where they have like these um, hawkers, these people that sell stops along the road. And there was this young girl, uh, you could clearly see she's probably eight, seven, nine, at most ten, I don't even think she's ten. But she was very very small you know so she was normally what what some of them do is that when they see these cars passing they come and they knock on your glass and they beg you for whatever you have in your car if you have something to eat if you have change to give to them so they can buy food to eat so i guess this child approached her car and as she was drinking, she started, you know, giving the child a sign because her glass was lined up. So she said, giving the child a sign like, do you want this? Do you want this? And the, the child, you could see the child nodding. And she stopped the car. And then she said, hold on. You know, she gave the child a sign, hold on. And then she took a seat and brought her hand down. And she was still asking the child. And the child was nodding. And, and then she... She tilted her hand toward the window and the child opened her mouth like, like waiting if she would give her something, you know, give her to drink. And then all of a sudden this girl just sped off and left the child there. She was laughing as she was doing this. She was laughing like it was so funny to her. And you could see the child chasing the car, running and chasing the car. And she just kept on laughing and going and she didn't give the child the drink. She just to the child and she thought it was funny. I don't, I don't even understand who would think that something like that is funny. Okay, if you're doing this to an adult, we will understand, which is still not good, even if it was an adult, which is still not good. But she felt this was fun and, and probably she was like, ah, okay, my, my followers will love this and this will be fun. And she had the gods to post this to her Instagram and not to her Instagram, sorry, to her WhatsApp. And someone took it from her WhatsApp and shared it. And all the blogs started sharing it. People started sharing it and she got tons of backlash. People are upset, people are cursing her out. And now she came out with this apology, which is not even an apology to me. Like this is not this is not accepted, okay? No one should accept this nonsense apology. She let me read to you people what she wrote. She said, I made the video yesterday because of stupidity. <laughs> I'm glad that she called herself stupid. She said, I made the video yesterday because stupidly I thought it was funny. I went ahead to foolishly post it on my WhatsApp story and immediately I did. A lot of people called me out on my stupidity. And I deleted, and I deleted it because I realized that my actions were extreme. She went on to say, I'm sorry for mocking the girl and no amount of money I would have given her would have justified what I actually did. I realized that yesterday and I realized that yesterday and it has resonated again today. Sorry, like I said, sorry doesn't fix anything, but I hope, I hope it can, 
sorry doesn't fix anything but i hope it can somehow lessen the blows of my stupidity really this is this is just absolute rubbish this is absolute nonsense because I, I don't get it when you were doing this did you not think that this was not cool how could you even think that your followers people that people that follow you would be this heartless since you do not have a heart you do not have a conscience because if you know what it, what it means to be hungry, if you know what it means for someone not to know where that daily meal will come from, then you will know how to treat those people on the road, those people out there that do not have food to eat. If you don't want to give someone something, that is fine. It is not by force. Nobody is forcing you to help. But don't mock someone. Don't laugh at someone when someone is down. Do not kick someone when someone is down. People say this every day. It is not right. Be careful the way you treat people. Today you might be an influencer. Really, me, I've not even heard of you before. So I don't even know what kind of influencer you are. So I know so many people don't even know you, even if I say your name. A lot of people don't know you. So there are famous influencers that if you say their name, people know them not only in their country, but all around the world. But yet you don't see these people going out and mocking poor beggars along the road. You don't want to help people, don't help people. But do not mock a child a child do you know what the tears that will pour from that child's eyes what that can cost you that can cost you everything it can cost you everything and for this nonsense you did a lot of people won't even want to work with you even if i had a brand i will not want someone like you to represent my brand because that would be a very bad face for my brand because people will think is this what this brand represents who wants to work with a brand that is negative nobody so you have just messed up your own brand and i hope you learn from this or better still don't learn keep on fooling yourself because you think you are an influencer you have arrived you are uh, you are the best influencer in the world my dear, people are coming up every day there are new influencers there's competition in the influencing business there are lots of influencers worldwide to work with so keep fooling yourself okay if you want people to accept your apology, I tell you what you have to do. Take your car, buy that same drink you were drinking, go back to that same spot, look for that child. If that child is not on that road, look for that child and the lady that was standing behind her. Look for the both of them and apologize to that child until you can hear the child say, yes, I forgive you. Give her the drink that you teased her with and give her more gifts and pray that she forgives you, okay? Because it is wrong to do something evil to a child. It is wrong. She was just a child. She didn't, she didn't deserve that. She was only begging for food. If she had food, she would not be on the road. Nobody wants to stand by the road begging food or walking and selling bullshit. So go and look for that child and plead with the child. Alright guys, leave me a comment below and let me know if you, what you think about what this influencer did. Let us communicate, let us gist, let us dissect, let us analyze. Okay guys, for now, I'm out. Bye guys. Ah, mo ta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo ta, 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 m